How's it going, Arky Squad? Leon here, and today we are going to be playing Sims 4, just like a ton of you guys requested. So yeah, I made a Minecraft video, and then a ton of you guys was like, play Sims 4. So yeah, here you go, guys. We have finally created a character, and I've tried my best to make him look like me, but somehow he ended up looking super handsome. What are these? I am an athlete? No, I'm more, more of an artist. Artist. You know, I don't know what the hell that gesture was. <laughs> okay. Let's a click a check. Oh, let's a go. Huh? What's happening? Go here. Follow her. Follow her. Oh, no. Why are you not following her, man? I love her house. Let's check it out. Okay, so the dining table is right beside her kitchen, which is, you know, uh, typical. Click on objects to give directions to your sim. Okay, for example, click, it. click on the delicious food prepared by Alex and tell your sim to grab a serving. I already did it, woman. Are very important Stop shouting in my ears. For their stories. Oh no, woman, there's a robber. He's stealing a vicious woman. What's your name? I forgot your name. Oh, your name's Alex. Jesus Christ, Alex. You live in the most weirdest neighborhood in the world, man. There's like a freaking fishing spot behind your house. This, this is totally weird. Okay, let's, let's get back to the house. Uh, let's check out her house. Okay, she has... She has a gym slash office workspace. So when designing houses, you usually associate certain areas with work. So you associate gym with work. So the office should be right beside the gym. And then your hobby room should also be beside your gym and your work area. So yeah, her house actually makes sense in an architect's perspective. Uh, aside from this crappy kitchen. So Okay, let's check out her bedroom. So her bedroom is uh, located near the street, which is not ideal since there's going to be a ton of noises right here. And then you are super vulnerable to ninja attacks from the street. So a ninja could just come in and Wacha! karate chop you in the head. Okay, let's check out the neighborhood. Does she live in a relatively good neighborhood? There's a body of water beside her house. Also, the house is like in a corner lot. Which also drives the value of houses like more than the normal price. Since you have two access areas instead of one when you compare it to this normal lot. So a corner lot is more expensive than a regular lot. Also she lives in a cul-de-sac. So this area right here, dead end, typically considered bad luck for Filipinos. This house, there's gonna be ghosts right there. Because we believe that the bad energies are going to flow through this road enter your house and generate ghosts basically so yeah the, the owner of this house has ghost problems now okay guys so right now i've exited the tutorial mode because it was boring af and you know we'll just we're just gonna wing it so right now we are going to try to renovate our house so i've put in a bunch of cheats like cheats to unlock certain objects and then I put a cheat that made me like 9 million simoleons <laughs> richer. So yeah, we're just going to start to renovate our house. And also uh, I got some bad news guys. Uh, my roommate just died or she, she went away. So yeah, I don't know why. Just after the tutorial she just vanished. So I don't have no more roommates in this household. So we don't need this bedroom right here anymore. It's a badly located bedroom anyways. So let us begin renovating the house. I want to start with this sala right here. Boom, 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 boom. Also, I don't like that plant. And this walls. And just like that, the kitchen just seems so much wider now. So let us change the floors. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's going to look so nice, guys. There we go. Alright, so the space looks much more open now. So yeah, just by changing the tiles and removing a few walls, we just could immediately make the kitchen look like it is already a part of this whole living area right here. So I want this house to be more of an open plan. So I don't really like the toilet in this location. But you know, when renovating a house, the toilets or comfort rooms are the last things you want to move. Because the plumbing is very complicated. So I won't be touching this. We're going to stay slightly realistic for this gameplay. So usually when you want a contemporary looking house, your walls will just be white. Alright, let's remove this. So let us begin planning our interior spaces. So let us begin with the television. So our TV is going to be the main anchor point from which we are going to locate or plan our furniture layout around. So we got our TV. Now let us place our sofas. Uh, you want to locate your sofa at least 3 meters away from the TV. So somewhere here. Boom. Boom. 
So our living room is looking much better than our living room a while ago. So let us move on to the dining area. Boom. Goodbye dining table. Let's go for this one. This is the only somewhat similar looking dining chair. There we go. We have our dining table. I guess that's it for our dining area. Let us move on to renovating our kitchen space. There we go. That's looking really good. So for the kitchen, I want somewhat contemporary wood and white marble. So actually this is perfect. One of the best locations of refrigerators in a kitchen is actually at the entrance of the kitchen because refrigerator is actually one of those things that you use most of the time. There we go. Demolish that and then put our stove right here. Boom! Nice. Oh dude, that looks real nice. Okay, so we are done with this area. Uh, let us move on to some other part of the house. You know what? Let's just scrap this door thing and let's make this room open oh you know what that actually looks good we are going to make this area our arts area boom we're almost done let's move our carpet right here boom you know what since this is our work area let's put a drafting desk and a really nice chair because we're going to be spending a ton of time drafting there we go there's our drafting desk. Okay, we can place pencil holders. There we go, pencil holder. <laughs> that's so cute. Dude, that's awesome. And that is our office. Now let us move on to the bedroom. There we go. And I guess that looks pretty fine. You know, we're going for a contemporary, almost minimalist approach to this house. So that looks real good right now. So as for the toilet, the only things we are going to change are the tiles because those are the easiest things to change. There we go. You know what? Let's just change this stuff. There we go. Now our CR looks whew, clean. And there we go, guys. We have completely renovated the interior of our house. So if you guys want to see me build a house from scratch in Sims, leave it down in the comments below but for now we are going to end this video with this interior renovation job so let me just give you a quick tour of the house here we have our entry door and then right beside that we have our sala or entertainment area and then right beside that we have our four person dining table and then right here we have our number 11 kitchen layout kitchen sounded super redundant anyways uh, we have our kitchen right here and then right beside that we have our workspace and then beside that we have our bedroom right here and then our toilet and then the former bedroom of our roommate has been repurposed into this uh, sort of hobby room if you will so this is what this looked before and this is what it looks now all right guys so i guess i'll end the video right here if you guys like this video please like comment and subscribe down below for more videos like this from me your boy lian also comment down below what other games you want me to try out or play as long as the games are architecturally related or maybe not it's just if you guys just want to see me do some games leave it in the comments below and uh, i might consider buying and playing that game so yeah i will see you on my next video Arky squad flying peace <laughs>